Good morning, everyone. My name is Mike Linstead. I'm the president and co-founder of the Nehemiah Project. And hey, today I just want to discuss a thought. Now, when I was in Alcoholics Anonymous, um, there was this, this idea of what, what they call white knuckle sobriety, like this, clenching your fist, trying to stay sober. And it was always looked down on within the circles of AA because it, white knuckle sobriety was a type of sobriety or so-called sobriety that skipped a very necessary step in your sobriety. And that is placing your faith or appealing to a higher power or looking to a higher power for the strength to overcome your, uh, to overcome your addiction. And I want to talk about the difference between white knuckle sobriety and the freedom that's found in Christ. And what I want to do is first read the words of Jesus himself. And it's found in John chapter eight, really looking at verses 31 and 36. And they say this, if you abide in my word, you are truly my disciples and you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. So if the sun sets you free, you will be free indeed. And that's been my experience. And that's in accordance with the truth of scripture is that when Christ sets you free from sin, you are free. Absolutely. Let me tell you a story about my dad. My dad was in Alcoholics Anonymous for over 20 years. And last year I went to Scotland to run a marathon and my family on my dad's side lives in England. And so they were in Scotland as well, running a marathon. That's why we are all there. And my uncle told me this story about my dad. He, my dad and him went out to a pub. That's what they do in England. And they were just having uh, some conversation, enjoying each other's company. And my uncle ordered a, a beer. And the beer comes to the table, and my dad's sitting across the table from my uncle. And my dad looks at the beer and he says to my uncle, you don't know how hard it is for you not to grab that beer and drink it right now. And that story hit me pretty hard because I was telling my uncle and my family over there my experience with Christ and how I've been completely changed and I no longer desire drugs and alcohol. And to hear that story about my dad, about how he had this experience 20 years into his sobriety, he still didn't have true freedom from alcohol. He was still white knuckling it when he was sitting in front of that alcohol. And I'll tell you, that has not been my experience after coming to know Christ. And I'm not bragging. What I am saying is this, is that if you are struggling with addiction, or if you know someone that is struggling with addiction, please direct them to Christ. Please send them to the Nehemiah Project. That is our aim in the Nehemiah Project. Our first and foremost goal is to present the gospel of Jesus Christ, the good news of Jesus Christ to those who are stuck in the bondage of addiction. There is true freedom in Christ. Don't, let, don't take my word for it. Take the words of Jesus for it. If the Son sets you free, you will be free indeed. I promise you, Jesus is good for his word. If you're interested in the Nehemiah Project, please go to our website. Please feel free to contact us by email. Please, if you feel led to donate, we could definitely use the help. Guys, if you feel led to be a part of what God is doing in Mandeville, don't hesitate to reach out. I hope this encourages you today. Thank you.